What would you do first? What do you What do you reckon you'd do? Go ahead and graph the center. Okay, so back three, and then down one. So there's the center point. Uh, negative three, comma negative one. So there's my center, and it's tangent to the y-axis. So um, there's this force field called the y-axis now, and your circle cannot be any bigger than the y-axis now. It's like it blocks it. So the radius, you know, if the radius of the circle was growing out this way, let's say the radius started growing this way. And I drew me a circle. Well, what's the problem with me going all the way out that far? It go past, it hit the y-axis, wouldn't it? So, bam, I'd be stopped right there because there's a force field right there and I can't go any further. So there's no point in me going this way to find the the radius, right? I need to go, I need to go that other way, don't I? I'm gonna use purple. I got a purple marker here. Let's see. Okay. So if the radius is out to here, all the way touching that y-axis, and you drew a circle, that's yeah, close enough. Then this is tangent to the y-axis because it barely touches the y-axis. So what's the radius? It's three, right? One, two, three. You're three away. So you count off. Basically, you need to see how far you are from the y-axis. That'll tell you the radius. Or you count if this if this turned into the x-axis. So, f for instance, for the y-axis, the radius is three. What if it was for tangent x-axis? Be one. So, is there a quick trick to this? I mean, the quick trick to find a three or one. Could you just look at? Well, you could just actually look. This says y, right? So I'm x many away. And if it said x, then I'm at the y. I, I look at the y coordinate. So once again, it's one of them flippy floppy kind of deals. Or you can draw a picture and just count. Either way works. Okay. So, and you got to square that when you put it into your formula, right? So it's uh, x. What would it be? X what? Plus or minus. We'll route the formula. Plus three squared plus y plus one squared equals y axis here. Three squared. We'll go ahead and put a nine. And that would be my answer to the original question of tangent to the y axis.